Welcome to Spray Lock Nation. It's another glorious day here. I got Brent here back with me in the studio again. I want to bring you some more videos. I want to talk about concrete in general, but I kind of want to take a step back. I want to go through the history of SCP, talk about who we are, where we came from, and most importantly, why are we here? Sure. Uh, that sounds really uh, exciting. I mean, a lot of people might be wondering about uh, just how did, how did Spray Lock Concrete Protection get its start. Um, the way I heard it was it starts with a story really? of a... Really? We're going we're gonna to go down that podcast? Oh, well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> the, yeah, a little nod to Mike Rowe there. Yeah. Uh, the way I heard it was that uh, back in 1978 or so, a gentleman by the name of Bill Ward uh, was working as a consultant. He was a chemical engineer working as a consultant to the petrochemical industry. And... He was tasked with, the way I understand it is that he was tasked with stopping leakage from undersea oil wells okay. in some of the, the oil well cementing process. And so he developed an integral product that was able to go into the mix and shut down some of that leaching that was coming out, or all, maybe all the leaching, I'm not sure, that was coming out of the undersea wells. I also heard another story, which is the spray applied had its beginnings also in the petrochemical industry to be able to treat a concrete petroleum tank from the negative side, the outside of the tank, to keep product from leaching through, the petroleum product from leaching through the concrete into the, uh, you know, outside of the tank. So those are the stories that I heard on how the product was born, if you will. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if, if you don't mind, if you can fill us in on, on how how we ran into it? How did Spraylock run into that? Because uh, our, our company didn't start until what, 2010? 2010. 2010, okay. Well, if you want to go there, you got to start with Spraylock in general. Was a, it's an adhesive company. That was where it kind of broke into the concrete uh, realm, if you will. Yeah. Kind of got on top of it. Um, Kev was having some interest and some people were talking about this product that was keeping some moisture failures happening in Australia. And so our owner, Fred Land, who's also a makeup artist, director, and boom mic operator. And gaffer. And gaffer, yes. Uh, flew over to Australia to talk to him, found out about his product, started talking about where it came from, found out it's made in Dallas, Texas. Yes. Sweet, sweet Dallas, Texas. Home of the Cowboys. <laughs> I'm a Cowboys fan. Some days it hurts. Um, yes. But, but you're also a Tennessee <clears throat> fan. I'm, and both I'm, of you have a common phrase, wait till next year. You know, sometimes you just got to wait till next year. <laughs> yes. I was, I was, you know, we're going down this pathway. I was going to ask you earlier about, you know, you keep saying how I heard it. And I mean, in the 70s, well, you know, you being 102. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, that's good. So, but, you know, Fred came back over, flew out, met Bill Ward and, and company, and brokered a deal where we're the distributor and got the manufacturing process. So it's all under house. So that technology is the base technology for all our products. Um, and part of what Fred wanted to do, and, and when I hear it from him, you'll, you'll get different thoughts through him, but the, the resounding thing that comes through is he wants to leave the world a better place. So he's zero VOCs, he did it with his ESAs, he didn't want you know, those things that environmentally no one wants anymore. But with the concrete protection side of it, um, especially with some of the new products we got out, really his driving force and what SCP stands for is making concrete last longer. And through that longevity of concrete, we're becoming more sustainable and making projects last longer. That the rebuilding of things and the resources and leaving it longer is a real big impact on our on society and earth. You know, when concrete is being the second most used substance in the world, when we have to remake less of it, mm -hmm. it's better for us all. So that's really where, who we are and why we are. Why we're, and, yeah, why we're here and, and why you and I come to work every day is we're making a difference, or at least I feel like that we're making a difference in the real world every single day by helping concrete last longer. That's one reason I'm here. I don't, don't leave my name on anything, but I leave my name on everything. Yes, sir. So thank you. Subscribe, like. If you got any comments or questions, please put them in the comments below, and we will get back to you. Thank you. All right, thank you.